Well, oh yeah, that one needs to go out in two days. So if you can finish that today and give it to testing, that would be amazing. Do you want to do it in an hour and 15 minutes? <laughs> what about that one? Uh, is it VIP? Yeah. Well, that one's super VIP. <laughs> that one's super... Yeah. How many days does it have left? Uh, there's, no, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing crazy about this one. It's just a simple... Yeah, Lumos. Too easy! Thank you. We have an hour and 15 minutes. Uh, so we have this case called the Slade. Some of you might know of it. It's the workstation case. We have a slight issue, right? So we don't want your AIOs if you buy this case to prematurely die due to the fact that the AIO is going to be mounted severely higher than the radiator. So we started mounting the AIO at the top. Now it's usually not an issue with most motherboards because most motherboards have a small VRM so the AIO doesn't get in the way. So this essentially will sit up here and it'll cover the top of the board. For almost every single motherboard, it'll cover the top of the board. This motherboard's fine because the, the VRM heat sinks are, are relatively short. Other workstation class CPUs like the Threadripper, most of their motherboards have very big VRMs, so they always get in the way. So for example, like this motherboard, Threadripper. This thing is like a good inch, an inch and a half taller than the other VRM, so this is this is not going to go very well in that case with the uh, AIO. So if we just look at the top of this case over here. Oh. So these are the mounting holes. If you look through these holes, you can literally see the VRMs or the, the uh, what is it, the heat sink for the VRMs. So that means I cannot mount my AIO because it'll conflict with these because they're, they're standing too far out. And this is why we're testing out other options, like this air cooler, which is humongous. Hopefully good enough to cool a friend. <laughs> yep. I hope you were pleased with that explanation. <laughs> Sure. It's stand out there. Uh, problem. This motherboard touches. Cannot fit. Goodbye, oh, promise. It's okay. And it because the problem on this one is like slanted. Yeah, well, it has uh -huh. the armor, so it should be fine touching. But yeah, because, because this is this, uh, yes. EATX, mm -hmm. it's humongous. So that extra, see? like, like here. maybe half inch. You can see it right here, see? If right it didn't here. have here half an inch, that that part would be fine. It would go in fine. Uh, told you, but it yeah. does. So. Fit. Doesn't fit. fit. Change motherboard. All right, let's go tell Jay. Change, we don't Thanks. <laughs> Isn't Cam supposed to be following you? <laughs> What's up? What do you need, Ernest? Why would I um, try the MSI one if it fits? Yeah. They, they just want a testicle. A like testicle? So customer got a power supply swap and he wanted to do it himself, so he did it himself and then for some reason, the power supply popped, and it also managed to pop the motherboard at the same time. So yeah, motherboard's dead. That's what Justin said. All I know is that we have to replace the motherboard. Now, so. At least I think it's covered, right? Did you say it was covered? I don't know. Is it covered? I don't work in RMA. <laughs> Hello. Oh, this is mine. <laughs> Oh my god, I've been waiting for this! Thank you, sir. You're <laughs> <laughs> going by what? I'm just talking about work, you know? <laughs> Man, can you pass this? It's a 99 or 3990X with the air cooler. They just want you to test it, see how it does, and then uh, report back to Jose, I guess.
I look like a mess right now, but at least I'm vibing. <laughs> That's all that matters. Want to check in on the system? Yeah. All right, let's go check in on it. Last time I checked, we got the cooler installed and we sent it to testing. Hey, Nam. We got the, uh, the Slate X with the air cooler? Yeah. All righty, so we went with the Be Quiet Dark Rock Pro. Look at that. That right there, that's beautiful. That looks like a workstation to me. And let's see, what, what are we testing with? 67. 67? So 67 under XT. So it went over 90, yeah. two cores. Yeah. With exhaust. With exhaust fans? Yeah. And this is with all panels closed, right? Yeah. For, for a 3990X 64 core? It's not bad. It's not bad. Real bench? Yeah. That's really not bad. Can I see the results? Wow, that's gorgeous. Yeah, there's that's only like two cores that like ramp up. That's gorgeous right there. Hmm. I wonder what other I wonder what other workstation tests we can do. Maybe we can do uh God I forgot what it's called. Oh, uh Revit. Autodesk Revit. There you go. You know, Autodesk also has a solid benchmark that you could use too. I remember helping out a Revit and uh, AutoCAD engineer when it came to their uh, Slave Pro system. That would be a solid benchmark to use for our workstation customers. Um, and then I might end up asking a couple of my friends for their own use case scenarios and I'd love to test with them as well. I want to make sure that we also test their systems with actual real world scenarios just so we can make sure that we have, we're, we have a high quality product to sell. So I want workstations to be powerful. I want them to be quiet, easily, easily configurable for the customer as well. Um, it should work right off, right out the box for whatever workload that you, uh, you bought the system for. It should absolutely work. That's my goal. It should always just work. The highest temperature we've gotten is about 90 to 91 degrees Celsius. On a 3990X air-cooled, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Um, so we're gonna keep uh, testing with the Dark Rock Pro, see where we uh, end up at. Let's go from there. Cool. All right. Hey. Jeff, what's up, Jeff? How do you feel? It's your last day. Oh my God! They're <laughs> gonna put that in you. Everyone's gonna cry. <laughs> Excited and nervous. Yeah. Did you get did you get a video for the training earlier on the board? Oh no. What oh, training? That could be like perfect video, right? Because everyone is like watching while Ernie's doing it by himself. Yeah. Uh-huh. Your thoughts on your last day? You excited? Nope. No. I am actually dying on the inside <laughs> because I am gonna miss everybody here. I love all you guys. Greatest years of my life i'm gonna miss the man behind the, uh, the camera <laughs> i'm gonna miss that guy too that guy very special uh -huh. because uh all of this video they can watch it but they don't know who's taking the video that's fine like who's taking the video See, it's not about me it's about you guys. It's not oh, what did they have you working on i'm doing one last build before one last i go build? One right, last what's, your, build. what's that last build that last build is uh lumos I need to get some RGB. We need this. Is this 100? Oh, we do. And then just some fan splitters, some RGB splitters, and I think. Oh, I also need the I/O brackets. And that's all I need. Do you have all the parts ready? No missing parts. No missing parts. No, oh, actually, missing parts. I'm missing the 24 pin. Oh my! Ah, oh, I barely just remember that. I don't have any inventory. I don't think so. I'm gonna ask Can't inventory, and I'm gonna ask high Yep. Uh, we don't. We don't have to have any more 24 pin. For blue. For blue, yeah. 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 What the heck? Who lied to you? What? No, oh that paper says only missing 24 pin. Happy birthday, Alex. No. Oh, we just got them in like two days ago. Who? Get it. What do you have this ball for? Huh? What do you have? Oh, can you catch it? What the? <laughs> That's what you brought it to me? <laughs> no. Yay. It's so you're not missing anything, right? Now I'm not missing anything. Now I can fulfill this build and build this PC. And it's going to be my last build. My last build. <laughs>